This is the Prusa XL, a multi-tool head 3D printer. We've got the 5 tool head variant, haven't had much time to test it yet, but we're getting there. Nine, six, nine. So far, it's been a reliable multicolor printer. It's not a speed monster for single color printing, although for multicolor or multi material, it's more than 60% faster than the other multicolor 3D printers like Bamboo X1 Carbon. The Prusa XL uses prime towers to give you the best possible color change on your prints, but it also gives you the option to disable the prime towers. Even with the prime tower, it is a much more economic multicolor 3D printer compared to a single tool head 3D printer. Thus, the single tool head needs to extrude the last color from the nozzle in order to change to the next color needed. Another nice perk this printer has is the local bed heating feature. You can see on the bottom of the bed that the heating is divided into 16 heating sections over 360 by 360 mm size. This gives you the ability to only heat the regions that your model needs to be printed on and therefore cut down on energy. On other printers, you have to heat the whole build plate. Introducing PCBWay.com, the online one-stop shop for all your electronic ambitions. Need circuit technology or small-run manufactured parts? PCBs, 3D prints or CNC millings in PLA, ABS or aluminium and a whole rainbow of colour options. Upload your specs, approve the design, pay and await express delivery. Fair pricing, no minimum orders and total control throughout. Contact our design team at pcbway.com. The 360 by 360 by 360 mm build plate is more than enough for most use cases. We like the LED light integration on the sides that are daylight colored and turn red when something goes wrong. The build quality is good enough and the looks of the printer is one of a kind. It surely does have something special to it. Prusa support is 24 seven. That is one of the best things about owning a Prusa printer. You can get someone through the chat system for almost all your problems. They will, in most cases, fix your problem, which is something I haven't seen on many companies. We do want to talk about the less interesting parts of this printer. Sadly enough, there are some. The colored touch screen the Prusa XL has isn't the best one we've tested. It's too small and it doesn't feel like a touch screen of this time. It doesn't scroll over the touch, for example. We found ourselves using the turn knob much more often. The enclosure that Prusa provides as an option is 720 euro plus shipping, which in our opinion doesn't justify its price tag. It is missing a soft close pump for example, and the bottom part looks like they ran out of ideas and chucked this accordion lookalike part in there. The Prusa XL is running on Marlin. This printer would have so much more potential if it was running their own proprietary firmware like Bombelabs is using with their printers or even Clipper for example. Marlin is just too limited and it's not bringing out the full potential of this kind of printer. Loading or changing filament takes a long time. There isn't a loading motor, so the loading the filament is by manual until you reach the filament sensor which is located just before the extruder gears. This is really annoying if you're used to a system like Bamboo Labs AMS system which is fully automatic. Prusa Connect and Prusa Link aren't from this time. They seem to lack finish for this caliber of brand. We do wish there was a better way to connect to your printer to monitor what's going on. It did fail to connect many times or lost its connection to the printer very often. The Prusa XL is also missing a camera. On the high price tag, which we will talk about in a minute, there is no camera integration. If you want to monitor your Prusa XL, you better come with an idea yourself. So the price tag. This printer isn't cheap. For the single tool head semi-assembled version, you pay 2,099 euros plus shipping and fully assembled you pay 2,599 plus shipping. For the 5 tool head semi-assembled version you pay 3,699 euros plus shipping and fully assembled comes in at 4,199 plus shipping. In our opinion this printer should only exist as a 5 tool head anyways and the price tag should have been around 3k for the fully assembled version. It makes no sense at all to get the Prusa XL as a single tool head printer. It is a slow single color printer Therefore, for that price tag, you can get many other printers who will print the same quality out of the box and be less than half the price. It's not all darkness though. The multicolor prints are really awesome to print. Fail ratio was fairly low. Only a few times the tool head got stuck and that was due to wiggly tool heads bay which we tightened and that fixed the problem. Here are some of the multicolor 3D prints we've done. On the road, lights they
Mandela on the left is used by two colors change, so white and red, and the Mandela on the right is using five tool heads, so it's five colors, and the prime tower we used is this size, and it doesn't weigh much, this is around 20 grams, and this Mandela is around 90 grams, and this is as well as 90 grams. So this amount of filament that's been used is only using up to 20 grams of prime tower, so that is really acceptable, but you can, as I said before, turn off the prime tower and you will have also the same kind of print, although you might have here and there some blobs because this is used to get rid of the blobs and all the imperfections on the nozzle whilst before the start print starts on every layer. Another print is this Pikachu Halloween pumpkin model and this also is a really nice print and it's been printing in about seven hours. The top bit was two hours and the bottom bit was five hours, 15 minutes, so seven hours and 15 minutes print time and it came out really nice. I like the look of it and on a bamboo printer, for example, bamboo X1 carbon or P1S or whatsoever, it will take more than double the time. So this one is seven hours. Uh, bamboo X1 carbon takes around 15 hours to print this model. And this is the prime tab it's been using. So this is for the bottom bit like this. So this is this part. It is not much of a prime tower filament that has been used and it's fairly acceptable to have that amount of uh, filament that is going to waste. Another model that is really hard to print on any other multi-color printer is this kind of print. So out of inner bit is another color and out of bit is another color. This was really a thin model so and the filament was a bit wet so even then it just came out really well. I like this so <laughs> this is something I really would dream on printing on a bamboo for example because this is really hard to print but Prusa XL doesn't have any problems printing these kind of models. So should you get one of these Prusa XLs? That totally depends on your needs and how deep your pockets are. If you don't mind long print times and don't care about filament waste get a cheaper printer like a bamboo P1S with AMS system or an A1 mini with AMS light system. If you want to be printing multicolor and multi-material very efficiently then you can get a Prusa XL. Your investment in this machine will pay off pretty quickly if you own an Etsy store or something similar. So these are all quick findings about the Prusa XL. Stay tuned for more in-depth insight about this printer. We've already got the official enclosure for it and are building it at this moment. With that we will be able to print ABS and ASA like filaments. We really hope you liked this video and are willing to hit the thumbs up and share it with your friends and family who might be interested. Also, don't forget to consider subscribing to our channel. Bye!